Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So this is day two of me using the DE uh, 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter. So let me get close. Uh, I'll tell you two things that I do not like about this inverter so far. Then I'll tell you everything I like about it. So listen. You can hear it, right? That's the fan. I never thought that a fan would bother me, but it does bother me. It's a little loud. It's about as loud as my refrigerator. It comes on and goes off, comes on and goes off. So it's not constantly on, but it does bother me. I know also not the Lux Power does not have a fan. So the Lux Power is silent. It doesn't matter what you do to it, it remains silent. So that's advantage Lux Power. Second thing I do not like um, is the app and the online, the online interface relative to the Lux Power, it is cumbersome, a bit tedious. Um, the current version I have, I cannot make adjustments, but I spoke to uh, my folks at DE and they told me that the new version allows you to make adjustments to the inverter. So until I take that for a test run, right now Lux Power beats them hands down on the app the online online version of um, the way to communicate with the inverter and silence it is quiet this is not having said that what do I like one the level of um, adjustability you can do a perfect example let me take you in and show you what I mean so I'm going to go into the menu battery settings I have so many options here Okay, um, on the, the on the Lux Power, I did not really have too, too many options. Yes, I could adjust max charge, max discharge, and I've also adjust battery capacity, but it didn't give you battery capacity in graduated format. It gave you either um, 100 amp hours, 150 amp hours. Here, it allows me to adjust it specifically. Um, something else I also like is this option here. They don't have it, so um, it's the voltage at which I want to start the generator, um, it gives you right here, and then the current I want to push in, it gives you right there. Well, this is a, a little extra option, which right now, yes, it matters and it doesn't matter, but somewhere down the road, once I get a generator put in, I'll show you where it matters. But this is what I like very much. It gives me the option of setting what the float setting is, um, absorption, voltage, Equalization I don't do, I like, I like the fact that it off, off, off offers it to me. But this is one extra uh, that I like. So on the Lux Power, I could do the shutdown voltage. But because they have it configured as a lead acid battery, that shutdown voltage doesn't work because it still sees that the inverter has capacity. So it'll turn off and turn on, turn off and turn on. This one gives me an option of a restart voltage. You can see that. So once I hit my shutdown, it would not come back on until it hits that restart voltage. That makes a huge difference. Uh, low battery warning, you get a, a red light and a buzzer telling you that you hit a low battery warning and then it shuts down at 50 volts. I like that very much. Um, escape. And then a bunch of other basic settings, your clock, that's no biggie, everybody can do that. I like the fact that I can, that I can do it here. Um, the generator port use. So this I like. You can have it serve as an input and the amount of power you can have the generator push in or you could have it serve as an output where it says smart load here. That lock power does not offer you. So once you have um, once you have up to once you have anything production 500 watts in excess of what your threshold is. So let's say you have um, Let's say your loads are 230 watts and your production is 500 watts more than that, it will turn that function off if your battery voltage is within this range. If your battery voltage is within this range, it turns it off at 51 volts, turns it on at 54 volts. So that's something I like very, very much. Having said that, um, I like it the way it charges the battery. It actually put 4.4 kilowatt hours into the batteries yesterday and it tracks that. The other thing I also like is that it actually it gives you actual um, battery capacity. 
So the Lux Power, because it does not talk to the battery, lacked the ability to do that. So it gave you fictitious numbers based on what a lead acid battery does. So that's not very intelligent. The engineers sat down, they figured out what a lead, battery, a lead acid battery is supposed to do, and that's exactly what they did with this. They did with their Lux Power. This one actually um, monitors how much you charge, how much you discharge, and then gives you a battery percentage. So yesterday it was giving me a battery percentage which I loved. Um, you won't see it here, but when you log into the app, you see it. Or I could actually go in and change where it doesn't show me um, voltage, but it shows me percentages. I'm a little reluctant, reluctant to do that because until I really understand how well um, this, battery, this inverter reads my battery, I want to stick to using voltage. But if I want to change it to percentage, battery setting, um, I use battery percentage. Once I use battery percentage and I go into my settings, it no longer uses voltages. It, re it, repre it represents this as um, it represents these numbers as percentages. Unt until I've watched this for a few days to understand where it sees my percentages, I'll stick to the voltage for now. So so far so good. I'm pretty excited. Um, it's right now performed beyond my expectations. You know, yesterday I saw. Oh, here is where it gets exciting actually. So. My production was a perfect example. Yesterday, I saw, so let's see month, if it gives you month. So you see yesterday, I did almost 10 kilowatt hours. And it's very rare for me to see 10 kilowatt hours on my locks, but unless my AC was on. The only change we've made since we did the installation was add one 300 watt panel onto our system. And that wouldn't account for the huge, um, you know, huge jump you see, but it blows my mind because I couldn't get over the fact that I could see not only that kind of production, but the big part that I saw was that I, I peaked at 3,850 watts out of 4,100 watts. That for me was mind blowing. That the system was able to hit 3,850 watts out of 4,100 watts at some period during the day, somewhere between, I think it was about uh, 1 or 2 o'clock, and uh, between 11 and one or two please don't take me to the cleaners on this one i had looked at it on my on the on the laptop blew my mind i could not believe that it was capable of producing such numbers but it looks like the mppt you know they claim an mppt efficiency of 99 point something percent i believe them seeing what i saw yesterday i believe what they say so our next goal now is to increase the voltage because they give you a load range of 240 volts to something. Right now my PV1 is 185, PV2 is 224. I want to get this to 240, 240, 250. And I think I'll even get better performance out of my system than I, that I'm currently getting. But I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty excited. This has performed beyond my wildest expectations. And when I saw those numbers yesterday, my first reaction was MF Jones. For those of you who watched, I um, can't remember, one of the movies done by Quentin Tarantino, that was an expression used, M.F. Jones. That was my first, my first reaction. Oh my, you know what I mean. So, yes, I'm blown. My mind is blown so far. It's only day two. I can't wait to see this a week from now. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Uh, if you have any comments, please post them in the comment section below. If you're a subscriber and you want to see each time I post content, content, click on the bell icon so you'll be notified each time I post your content. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.